There have been several questions and misconceptions on this. Can a woman ovulate during menstruation or can a woman ovulate and menstruate at the same time? So the, the answer is, is, is not absolutely straightforward, but the answer is yes. But the chances are quite low. I will explain. But before then, welcome back to Counselors Demas channel. Please do well to click on the subscribe button, share my videos, help encourage me, like, 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 and drop a comment on the box. Thank you very much. Now, the thing is, ov ovulation, menstruation, and pregnancy are quite relative, as in they have quite independent. They are quite independent on each other. Ovulation happens first, and ovulation happens on the 14th day to your menstruation. On the 14th day to your menstruation. That is, ovulation lasts for 24 hours. Now, ovulation is the day the ovary releases an egg. And if no fertilization takes place, the egg degenerates together with the endometrium. The endometrium is the um, inner lining of the uterus. So uh, it passes out as the monthly flow. That is what is called menstruation. And the menstruation is known as the monthly flow, and it can be between two days to seven days. Okay, and now the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is between 21 days to 35 days. Here is the thing. There are some unique women. There are some people that have a unique cycle. And there are some people that have just a regular cycle. Nature made it so. It's not like they are suffering from anything. Their cycle are not regular. And they have, and at the same time, they have a shorter cycle. So the indicators of those women, um, these women might likely ovulate during menstruation. One, they're because they have a very short cycle. And two, their cycle is short and irregular at the same time. Now, let's go. For some people that have a longer menstrual flow, that is the seven days menstrual flow is regarded as a long, longer one. Some people flows last for just two, three, four to five days. Why some people go as much as to seven days? That doesn't mean they are not, that doesn't mean they are abnormal. They are absolutely normal. It is still within the normal range of a menstrual, of a normal menstrual cycle. So for those people with a shorter cycle, that is a 21 day cycle, and they have a longer period of seven days period. So um, seven days menstrual flow. Let us calculate now. We have 21 days cycle, and uh, we have seven days menstrual flow. And for a woman that have a 21 day cycle, she will calculate that is her uh, ovulation happened on the 14 days to her menstruation before her next menstruation. So likely, let us count um, 14 days um, plus 7 days is equal to 21. 14, um, 14 days plus 7 days is equal to 21. So in the case of that woman, that woman might likely, our relation day might likely be on the 7th day of her cycle. 7th day uh, might likely be on the 6th on the sixth and 7th day within her cycle and for this woman remember when ovulation um, takes place that within that 24 hours and it leads to the free day so for a woman that has that is looking for a pregnancy that is looking that is looking forward to conceive uh, with a shorter with a very shorter cycle as short as 21 days and a longer menstrual period a, mes a longer menstrual flow period that is seven days that woman might likely want to have sex on the sixth or on the fifth, sixth and the seventh day into her cycle. Probably those fifth, sixth and seventh day, it's a menstruation day. No two ways about it. It's still on her monthly flow. So the answer to this, the answer to our earlier question, uh, can a woman ovulate the same time while she menstruates? The answer is Yes, the answer is yes, but quite the chances are quite low because of the average woman cycle is for is um is twenty eight days, but that doesn't mean those with um a shorter cycle or those with a longer cycle from twenty eight to thirty five or those with a shorter cycle from um twenty one to twenty seven days they are abnormal. No, they are not abnormal. They are absolutely normal. 
though you can say that their cycle is shorter and the other one you can say the other um, ones are longer so that's just the difference so in this case for a woman um, a regular woman with a 28 day cycle it is probably um, not it is likely not possible for her to ovulate while menstruating of a woman with a shorter cycle or a regular cycle might probably ovulate during her menstruation. Every woman is unique in her own way. God created every woman unique and every woman has got a unique menstrual cycle. And it is your unique cycle that determines, um, that determines your ovulation. If your cycle is a shorter one, that is 21, 22 um, ovulate you might likely if your cycle is 21 days and you have a longer menstrual flow of um, seven days you might likely ovulate while um, menstruating at the almost the end um, days of the menstruation flow yes it's possible and another thing is this note that the sperm can last in the woman's body for up to three to seven days in some cases but um it's quite it, it can be said in up to three to five days and in some cases it can also stay for seven days yes so in this case when um, a woman have a shorter cycle of 24 day cycle or 22 day cycle of 21 day cycle even with um uh menstrual flow even within menstrual period of five days when that woman meets a man or meets her partner on the fifth day or on the fourth day during her menstrual uh, of her, um, in her cycle, that is the third day or the fifth day into her cycle, probably she should still be menstruating in this um, on this day. And she 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 meets her man during that day, and it's her menstruation day. Conception might likely take place because it's be uh, on the eighth day or on the seventh day or on the ninth day depends on her depending on her cycle and if you want to learn more about your menstrual cycle in a video on menstruation and ovulation that video will help you understand your menstrual cycle i did lots of illustration on that video and i'll be posting it up here so please do well to watch that video to get more information concerning your cycle understanding your cycle and understanding your free days and your fertile window so yeah the thing is this the thing is this your fertile window um it's not just 24 hours your ovulation happens for just um ovulation takes place for just 24 hours but your fertile window it's between three to seven days that is if you probably have sex a day after your ovulation day a day after your ovulation day you might likely get pregnant and if you have sex three days to your ovulation day you might likely still get pregnant. And in some cases, if you have sex six days, five days to your ovulation day, you might likely get pregnant. So think about those with a shorter cycle. Probably when they meet um, their partner in their um, um, menstruation day, maybe on the fifth day or on the third day within their cycle, and the, the, the sperm is being deposited in their body. And in about four days or in about three days' time, ovulation takes place. Um, ovulation takes place in their body. Probably this might lead to um, conception. There's high chances. In this case, there are, there's high chances of conception. So a woman can get pregnant during menstruation and a woman can ovulate during menstruation, but the chances are low. And it is mostly for those with a shorter and irregular cycle. So please don't be confused. Every woman is created and in a unique way. Unique way. Some women have a very um, a longer cycle of thirty five days, thirty two days, thirty days, and some women have a shorter cycle, um, a, sh a shorter cycle of twenty one days, twenty three, twenty twenty two, and twenty four days cycle. So in these cases, every woman is um with. So the chances um, but in for a woman with a regular cycle. Of 28 days the chances of um, conception during menstruation is too low or probably uh, it's likely not possible but for a woman with a shorter cycle the chances might be there for conception even during menstruation
So tread um, carefully. And if you want to know more about your body or you want to do family planning, please see your gynecologist and for to understand your body, to understand your body more. Please don't take chances. Tread carefully. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Thank you. And please don't forget to click on the like button, subscribe on this channel, and please help me to share my video. Please share my video. Please. I'm just putting my share my video and don't forget to subscribe. Till I come back to your screen. I am Councillor Dima. Bye.